we didn't have a very good hatch rate with our last batch of silkies. And I think I know why. What's up, Cog Squad? Jason over here at Cog Kill Farm. And we recently got some hatching eggs, some silkies from a silky breeder named Bobby Porto. And only three of them hatched out of 18. And I think we missed this one crucial step that we absolutely forgot about. All right, so we got some super special silky eggs from another well-known breeder called Alabama Silky. And we wanted to show you guys what to do when you get eggs in the mail. We got our special silky eggs in the mail. We're gonna show y'all what we do when we get eggs in the mail. Let's see what we got. Mm, wow, look. And they say to unwrap each egg. Another layer. Oh, that's fine. Pointed. You can see which end is the pointed end. So place them pointed end down for six to 12 hours. To settle. To settle before you put them in the incubator. Pointed. And these are assorted colors. Assorted colors. And what were their assorted colors? Do you remember? Um, I remember gray, mottled, white, black splash, um, porcelain. Pointed and And I'm down. sure there's more that I don't remember. So six to 12 hours, then it's ready for the incubator. But you want to go ahead and get that incubator cranked up and running. To 99.5 uh -huh. and 60% humidity. And this is for silkies, okay? And it, chickens are gonna be the same, which is silkies a chicken. But this is specific for silkies. You're gonna use distilled water for your incubators. This is an Archon 50, um, but any incubator will work. When you get eggs in the mail, it's always a risk. You do not know how the mail carriers handle them, so it's always a risk. So if you get them in the mail and they don't hatch, it's not always the breeder's fault. We're gonna get these uh, beautiful silky eggs in this Arcom incubator. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have some great success of all 14 of these silky eggs hatching. All righty, that'll work. Good job. And this is day 21. This is the day they should hatch. If we just, we got some more silky eggs in. No, you can't eat them. They're not for eating, they're for Mary Carl's silkies. You know, we're trying to hatch out some silkies around here. No, you can't have just one. These ain't Lay's potato chips, girl. This is, this is serious now. Now we're thinking about chicken shows. I don't think there's any uh, pig shows around here. Yeah, you'd win though. You, you'd win if there were. Good morning, ladies. You're getting so daggum big. Yes, you are. You starting to lose your color. You starting to turn the emu color right there. You'll see how dark Nugget's neck and head's getting. Starting to lose those baby feathers. How in the world did we get geese in here? Still no baby boots. Still no babies. Now yesterday, Bootsy gave us a little scare. We thought she was in labor. So Bootsy is showing signs of being in labor. Um, Mary Carl and I felt like it was really hot in the little goat barn area. She was laying down. She wasn't panting, but you could just feel it was just real dry air. And so we went and got a fan and put it in here. It's not, I mean, it's not directly in here, but it's blowing cooler air. And she seems more comfortable. Okay. You just see down the hay rack. Bootsy's just pulling it down from the top. But she's having babies, so she can do what she wants to. I 
I mean, Mrs. Coquille was was just dead certain she was in labor. But as you guys can see, that's not the case. She's not in labor. She was playing a trick on us. We got pranked by our goat. And the new girls, Fifi and Capri, are doing awesome. They have adjusted well. It's uh, we're so glad we got them now. Fifi, I think y'all are enjoying your new home. And Capri, I just love Capri's colors. Now, Mrs. Kaki and Mary Carl love Fifi's colors. Me, I'm just so partial to, I just love the way Capri looks. Bootsy, you're so big, girl. Look at that belly. Oh my gracious, you're big. And Bo, you're big too, but Bo, I think you just got one. Look at the difference. Look at this. She's got one really big lump. Bootsy's got two. So I'm thinking Bootsy's got two babies. I'm thinking Bo's got one. Now Mrs. Cockhill's thinking Bootsy's got three, but I'm thinking two. What do you guys think? I say it all the time. That's the difference between feeding these boys versus the girls. They're just rowdy. The girls are so sweet and calm, no issues. The boys just go nuts. They knock the bucket out of your hand almost 50% of the time. All right, let's get this limb out of here. We cut a tree down and it needed to be cut, a small one. And we gave our goats some treats with the limbs. They sure enjoy it. Y'all not going to partake in the snacking this morning? <laughs> Y'all done? Okay. That's the, that's the pregnant lady club right there, right? Boot says she's fixing to lay down. I don't blame you, baby. Woo, that belly's big. Yeah, she likes to get in this one. There she goes. <laughs> Gotta get your feet wet, don't you, Nugget? Rub a dub dub in a tub. That's your swimming pool. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Get some water on you. Feel good. Oh, good. Feel good. <laughs> She tries to get her whole body wet. Yeah. I feel so good. Whoa! <laughs> she shakes off like a dog. She does. Okay. I gotta get you a bigger pool. Yeah. Might be the kitty pool. Yeah. There's ducks coming in. And you're not near as nasty as the ducks are. No. Not at all. Alright, Nugget. We're gonna go build something for them chicks. Whoa! So we're constantly getting shavings in our chick waters. And so today I'm gonna to build a platform for it that hopefully that'll stop this from happening anymore. Shavings in the water and in their feet as well. My plan is to build just a square platform with hardware cloth on top, tall enough where they can, tall enough where the shavings can't get in it, but short enough where they can get on top of it. Y'all gotta come check it out now. Try it out for me. We will check back later 
in on these guys and see if it's working. You gonna cut the fan back on her? <laughs> I can literally see her grin turn. You can see her grin when the fan come on. You see the sitting right here turning on. No Look sense. You, no sense in uh wasting. wasting it, right? <laughs> it is hot. Like Y'all gonna get in the fan too? Well, you, you, you just as close as this, I believe. Both slap full of milk too. You milk it. I will. If you need anything, you can always let Peaches know. She'll wake me up if it's gonna be late on in the evening. Y'all look here. <laughs> that turkey gets him every time. I uh, tried to turn off the cog heel alarm, but it's starting to short circuit on me a little bit. It'll just go off anytime, you know, during the day. <laughs> but that is my alarm. Look, it's working. They're on it, they're drinking, they're eating. So it's working and no shaving so far in the water or food. I saw them earlier on theirs. I saw them. High five. That's what I'm talking about. Happy it works. And there's none in there neither. None in there. Oh, you swapped them. Yes, because the Suki scraps more than the other ones. Okay. 